just allow us to, to flow. Um, <clears throat> I, I asked Pastor Kabidi to do this, so I think I'll start from here. I had a dream, I think about one, a week or two ago, um, and I dreamt about them. I actually had a dream about them. I had a dream where, um, allow me to talk like this, uh, um, an angel came and spoke to me in the morning, and this angel was speaking to me about uh, uh, one or two things, but one of the things the angel spoke to me about was about them as a couple and, and the ministry here. And in this dream, uh, this angel, the angel that appeared, I knew from, my, from where I was, I knew that that angel carried technology. Um, and I, I feel, even today, I feel like that's something that we need to pray about. But this angel kept referring to them and uh, kept shaking his head and he kept saying he's very impressed with them. And I believe that that was not just a word for them. I believe that that was a word for also for what is happening here. The angel said he's very impressed with them. And the angel said that, that someone like himself has been sent to partner with them. You know, so as, as he's talking, I, I, I don't know whether I need to explain some of these things, but, you know, um, the Bible talks about the order of Melchizedek. You know, that there's in, in the kingdom there are certain orders. The Bible talks about the tribe of Judah, uh, the tribe of Israel, uh, the tribe of, uh, of where? Of the tribe of Zebulun, the tribe of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Ephraim and Manasseh. In other words, when you, when you operate in the spiritual realm, uh, there are different angels that characterize different things. When you look at the angel, for example, called Michael, Michael is the warf warfare angel, but Michael also represents an order of warfare. So when, when, when Michael speaks and says an angel like myself has been sent, what he's saying is that a warfare angel has been sent um, to that place. When an angel of technology speaks and talks about somebody of my order has been sent, one of the things that he's trying to communicate is that um, technology has been sent. Am, am I communicating? P please let's do this. Let's weigh what I'm saying. I give you complete liberty to weigh what I'm saying. I give you complete liberty. If what I'm saying is out of God, uh, throw it away. But if what I'm saying is what you believe is the will of God for this congregation and for this community, then let's embrace it. Hallelujah. And the, the, the third thing that the angel said is that sometimes things happen, but this should not discourage them because this is part of the journey. You know, sometimes stuff happens, but this should not discourage them because it's part of the journey. So what I wanted us to do today as we start is I just wanted us to bless them as a couple. Is that fine? We are blessing them. We are releasing blessing. The Bible says that out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. So we are allowing the rivers of living water to flow out of our inside and to bless them. We are speaking that over them. We are declaring the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich and adds no sorrow. Um, we are releasing them into the fullness of this season. Whatever this season means for them, we are releasing them into a fullness of this season. We, as, as a church, as a community... We are rallying around them to just begin to lift the weights off of them. Am I making sense? And allow them to, to just move on. I believe that this is a new season. I believe that this is entirely a new season. I believe that this season started not, it's not starting this year. It started one or two years ago. I believe that the, the era of 2020 and the era of COVID represented a shift of seasons. Am I making sense? And the church is slowly waking up to this reality that we are in a completely new season. Not everybody is willing to embrace this. Not everybody is willing to embrace this. Sometimes this new season will come with its own challenges. This new season will come with its own interpretations of times and seasons. And each one of us has our own way of looking and our own perspective. But I believe that with time, God will begin to make clear exactly what he's saying about this season. But what we need to do for them as a couple is we need to bless them. And we need to surround them as the ecclesia. Are we together? Uh, th that name Mount Zion is a very, very interesting name. That name Mount Zion is a very, very interesting name. But can we stretch our hands towards them from where we are? Hallelujah. You, wa you want her to come? Okay. You want her to come? So we can sing a hot pambio as we're waiting for them to come. <laughs> Hallelujah. One of the things I feel, you know, as we walked in here, I, I, I've been asking, this technology thing, I, I, I can feel it in the air. I don't know that I'm making sense. I can feel it in the air. I can feel that technology thing here. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, the Bible says that angels are ministering spirits sent forth to minister on behalf of those who are heirs of salvation. So let's do this. Let's start from here. Let's, let's start by, uh, is it okay if I said by honoring the angel? 
You know, in the kingdom, things operate by honor. Am I making sense? Um, the devil did not fight with Lucifer, or rather um, the angel did not fight with Lucifer. I'm, I'm quoting from the book of Jude. But what did he do? He just said the Lord rebuked you and he moved on. In the kingdom, things operate by honor. You give honor to whom honor is due. One of the keys to activating angels is just by honoring them. We honor the host of heaven that has gathered in this place. We honor the priests that God has set over this community. And just by honoring, the Bible says, if you give honor to whom honor is due, that's one of the ways to receiving the grace that flows from their lives. By honoring this angel of, of technology, they are ministering spirits. They are sent to help us and to support us and to be a part of what God wants to do in this place. But by honoring them, one of the things that we are doing is we are activating that grace in this community. And I believe that part of that grace is going to be manifest in the next generation. And one of the things that I feel that we need to pray for just being here is the next generation. Because there's a generation that is rising up that are, begin to walk, are going to walk and experience the fullness of this grace. I don't know that I'm making sense. You know, sometimes you feel like you're talking to yourself. You're not sure whether you're communicating. So I know uh, Mrs. Bishop has come. But let's just first start by just honoring the angel of technology that God has released to be a part of what he's doing in this house in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's just lift up our voices and just begin to bless God. Father, thank you. Thank you for releasing angels, oh God. Thank you for the angels that you've released to be a part of what you're doing in this house, to be a part of what you're doing in this family in the name of Jesus. Zepa Korea Come on, if you can pray in the spirit, let's just pray in the spirit. We're just honoring what God has released in this house in the name of Jesus. Father, we honor you for angels of technology, oh God. We honor you for angels of technology that, Lord, you're releasing into this house in the name of Jesus. Father, we say that which eye has not seen. Lord, we say that which ear has not heard. Father, we say that which has not even entered into the hearts of men. Father, Lord, we begin to open the gates, oh Lord, and to receive that which is carried, oh God, by these angels to allow us to step into that dimension in the name of Jesus, to allow us to step into that realm in the name of Jesus, zeba rega zepa koria mama ze ribara buru arabu sikara buru arabu ribara buru arabu sika raga boria mama ndoro bobo sakara raga boria mama zai riba basika zepa koria mama zai raba basika zeba rega zeba rega zeba rega riba basika zeba koria mama ze Lord we say kingdom concepts Lord we say kingdom technologies we say kingdom ideas in the name of Jesus riba basika Zeba rega, zeba goria mama ze, riba raburu arabu sikara buru arabu shinta, rega boria mama seka zeba rega zeba rai, rababa seka zeba goria mama anduru bobo sakara baba zai. We bless you, Lord. Father, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. Father, we just continue to bless you for that which you're doing in this community, oh God. Father, we thank you for the host of heaven that you're releasing at a time like this. Lord, to partner with that which you're doing, oh God, in Jesus' name. Father, we honor you for angels of technology. We honor you, Lord, for angels that carry technology, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for new technologies that you're releasing on the face of the earth. Lord, even at a time like this, and I thank you, Lord, for the partnership, Lord, that begins to rise from this house, oh God. Lord, with these technologies in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we say we pray for the generation that is coming up, oh God. Father, Lord, we thank you because they embrace these concepts. They embrace these ideas, oh God. They embrace these technologies that you are releasing. And Lord, they partner with you for the bathing of the fullness of this, of, of this agenda for this time and for this season. In the name of Jesus, we bless you and we honor you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I, I wanted to say that the, the top 10 people that you named, you know, I think about seven or eight of them are in technology. Bill Gates, technology. Larry Ellison, technology. Um, um, Jeff Bezos, technology. About eight of them are in technology. Elon Musk, technology. Elon Musk, by the way, was born in South Africa. Technology. Are we together? And if you've been listening, you know, this was before I began listening to what people are saying. But I was listening to Cindy Jacobs this week, and she was talking about technology. 
and talk about the transfer of wealth that is going to take place in this season is going to come through technology and say that the church needs to begin to arise and take its place in technology. All these bitcoins, cryptocurrency, I, 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 I can't even tell you what technology is coming. Are we together? But you know when we begin to trust God and you begin to wait on him, then God will begin to send the right people across our path to unlock that dimension. And this especially for the next generation. Whatever you, whoever you consider the next generation, especially for the next generation. We need to find a way of merging technology in what we are doing. We need to find a way of engaging technology. It's not just about music. It's about merging music and technology. How does the technology engage with what we are doing? When, when we began this, when I began, and let me not even say I, when we began this discussion this week on our, on our family platform, um, we began talking about something called, allow me to talk like this. Huh? I have a bit of an engineering background. We began talking about something called NFTs. NFTs are non-fungible tokens. And we began talking about how NFTs, and NFTs is part of something called blockchain, hallelujah. If this sounds like Greek to you, say, I have the mind of Christ. It's part of something called blockchain, and part of that is now what you call cryptocurrency, where cryptocurrency comes from. And they talk about how NFTs are changing the way things are done, especially in the world of art. And there's a group of Kenyans who are beginning to arise and beginning to put their art. NFTs has to do with digital art, digitization of art. And they're beginning to put their art out on NFTs. And this is, is opening the door for resources to begin to come. Technology, especially for those who of us who are in art. And this, we're talking about digital art. We're talking about music. The guys who are leading this NFT charge, many of them are musicians. Many of them are sportsmen. And because they have understood how to merge these two, I don't know that I'm talking about something strange. You understand what I'm saying? Because they've understood how to merge these two, they are multiplying resources. And everything, I mean, we can say many things about this season. We can speak about an end time season. But let me tell you one of the things about this season. It's a season of the glory of God. Are we together? God's glory is visiting the church again. Now, to a certain extent, you determine what you receive from God in this season. Your position determines what you receive from God in this season. We need to purify ourselves. We need to purge ourselves. That is true. We need to cleanse ourselves and cleanse our hearts and cleanse our lives. And today we'll talk a bit about that. But at the end of the day, this is a glory season. Because God's glory does not rest upon a vessel that is impure. Am I, am I making sense? There's a level of purity that you and I need to get into so that that glory can rest. God has been dealing with me about fire. And one of the reasons why God is calling us to become, the Bible says he makes his ministers flames of fire, is because God himself is a fire. Are we together? If you come close to fire, if you're not fire yourself, you will get burnt. The only way we're going to begin to get close to God in this season is if you and I become like him. And one of the manifestations of God in this season is God is a consuming fire. There are doors, there are opportunities that God is unlocking in this season. He's revealing glory. He's releasing breakthrough. There are new streams and rivers that are flowing in this season. And God is calling us to align, to begin to embrace and to begin to align. God is calling us to upgrade even our, our capacity to hear from him. We need to begin to hear from him in a new way. Am I making sense? We need to be able to download patterns and blueprints from heaven. Like Pastor Bob said before he left, that the keys of the kingdom, we need to download Download those keys. Some of these technologies will come by learning. Some of these technologies will come in a dream in the night. So nurturing that are part of ourselves, nurturing our dream lives, nurturing our capacity to receive from God, nurturing, nurturing the night seasons. I've been challenging our congregation, nurture the night seasons because night seasons are about revelation. The Bible says that God hides himself in darkness. You know, anytime we talk about darkness, we talk about the devil. Are we together? Pentecostals, we talk about the devil. Darkness, people, you know, that's what we talk about. But God hides himself in 
darkness. Darkness has to do with mystery. Darkness has to do with that which eye has not seen, that which ear has not heard. Hallelujah. That's what the night seasons are supposed to be about. The night seasons are supposed to be seasons where we engage with the mystery of God, the hiddenness of God, the parts of God that God has not yet revealed, that God has kept for such a time as this. There were things that were there 20 years ago. This mobile phone was there in the Garden of Eden. Are we together? But it took an understanding of technology to unlock it. There are some things that are there now that is going to take an understanding of some of these things to begin to unlock. And one of the things that God is calling the church to begin to embrace and to begin to walk in is technology. Hallelujah. Let's bless this couple. Can we bless them? Can we bless them? If you don't mind, you can stand where you are. Sir. Can you pray for them and bless them? I will bless them all together. All of us. All of us release what you have. Are we together? We all carry something. We, uh, we honor you guys. Yes, we honor you guys. You guys have been here for, <laughs> let me not say for how long. Let's, let's, but really, 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 really. And you've kept the faith. And we just want to honor you. We just want to honor you. One of the, one of the keys to walking in a grace is honor. If, if, if I want to be a partaker of the grace that I carry, one of the things I need to do is honor. The kingdom is about honor. It's about honor. And we need to give honor. We honor everybody, but we need to give honor to whom honor is due. So I just want us to bless them. I just want us to honor them as a community, as a congregation. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And then I'll ask pastor to come and just uh, pray over them in Jesus' name. Can you stretch your hand, hands towards them? If you can pray in the spirit, just begin to pray in the spirit in Jesus' name. Zapa Korea Mama and Robobo Sakara Gaboria Mama Zai. I'm waiting to hear your voices praying in the spirit over them. Ragaboria Mama Seka Zebarega Zeba Goria Mama Zai. The Bible says, Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Rababa Seka Zeba Goria Mama and Rogoboria Mama Zai. We declare that it flows from your belly. We say it flows from our bellies. Oh God, we say the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich and adds no sorrow. Zabarega Zepa Lord, we push them into this next season in the name of Jesus. Oh, Come on, come on, come on, come on. We are pushing them into the next season. We are pushing them into the next season. We are pushing them into the next season in the name of Jesus. Zabarega. Zepa Korea Mama Ze Rebebe Seke Zeberai Rebebe Shente Rege Boria Mama Zai Rababa Seka Zeba Goria Mama Ze Lord we are saying heaven is impressed with them O God we are saying heaven is impressed with them O Lord in the name of Jesus Lord we are saying the host of heaven are impressed with that which has been taking place in their lives O God in the name of Jesus and Lord today we join the house of heaven as we celebrate them O God Lord today we join the host of heaven as we speak your blessing over them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Rababa seka zeba rega zepa koria mama zai ragaboria mama ndorobo voshente. Father, we say we honor what they carry. Lord, we say we honor what they carry. Lord, we say we honor what they carry, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Rababa seka zeba rega zepa koria mama zai ribara buru arabo sikara buru arabo shinta rebaba seka Zebare, Zebare Gaze Pacoria Mama Ze, Rebaba Seca Zebare Gaze Barai, Robobo Secere Bebe Zai, Rababa Seca Zepacoria Mama Zai, Robobo Secere Bebe Zai, Rebaba Shente, Lord in this body anointing, Lord, we usher them into the next season, O God. Father, we speak to gates before them. We say, Lift up your heads, O ye gates. We say, Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the King of Glory might come. Amen. Robo bo sakara baba seka zebarai. Raba ba shente rebe be seke. Rebe be seke zeberege zeberai. Lord, we honor what they carry, O God. Father, we honor what they carry, O Lord. And Lord, even as your word says, we give honor to whom honor is due. Father, we give honor to them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Raga boria mama and robo bo shente. Rebe be seke zeberege zeberege zeberai. Raba ba seka zeba goria mama and we bless you, Lord. 